quite some time. It has strengthened at this point in time. And it is affecting the states of Andhra Pradesh as well as Tamil Nadu. Well, for more on this, let me go across to my colleague Anthony for more details. Now, Anthony, can you tell us the status at this point in time? What is the status as far as Naila reaching Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu is concerned? Well, at this point of time, Sakshi, we know that there are heavy rains along the coasts of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. It was expected that the department predicted that uh, the cyclone Naila is going to hit the coast of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. In fact, uh, if you go onto the website, of the, of the Met Department, you can like, clearly see what uh, they've given as prediction. Uh, this is the, 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 the southern peninsula, and you can see that uh, the eye of the storm is here, and uh, this is this is the whole cyclone hitting uh, the Andhra Pradesh and uh, the coastal regions of the Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Uh, right now, we know that the, the winds could go up, as, as you can see, the Met Department has mentioned, the winds could go up to anywhere between 85 to over one third, uh, to about 135 kilometers per hour. That's the speed of the wind, the gale that is expected from uh, these uh, these uh, cyclones that's come up. Uh, so far, the, it has been you know that it has been raining. In fact, the chief minister Rosaya has uh, mentioned uh, to, has mentioned uh, to his uh, uh, to his uh, to, to his people to take good measures so that uh, you no know, loss to life as well as property is uh, minimized. Uh, uh, Anthony, also could you tell us, has evacuation of the coastal area started in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu owing to the fact uh, that the storm could come in any time now? Yes, now uh, there, there has been precautionary measures taken. In fact, uh, the Chief Minister Rosaya, a little while like I mentioned, uh, spoke, to his, uh, spoke to his people in, in the area and mentioned uh, to ask them to clear the area. But it's not clear as of now uh, whether they have actually clear the area because we know that the next 48 hours is going to face some heavy rains as well as some strong winds. So we'll have to wait and see how, how much of the area has been cleared, but uh, definitely all precautionary measures in terms of uh, uh, trying to uh, asking the urging the people to move away from the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu have been taken as such. Now, Anthony, where is it expected to hit the first the first place that uh, Lala is expected to hit? As of now, we know that uh, Uh, from uh, what is that now? We know that it will hit the coast of uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, that's the detail we have as of now, but we'll have to wait and see what will happen in the near course of time. Sorry. Well, thank you, Anthony, for all those details. Well, the cyclone Naila, which sustained winds of 102 kilometers per hour, was about 220 kilometers east of Chennai at 11.30 p.m. yesterday. Now, waves were 4.6 meters high near the storm's eye, where the winds were gusting to 130 kilometers per hour. The cyclone was moving from west to northwest at 20 kilometers per hour, and its winds are forecasted to strengthen by 139 kilometers per hour by late tonight, with the gusts as high as 167 kilometers per hour. Now, the storm is expected to make landfall south of the city of Vijayawada late today or early tomorrow. Now, the tidal waves in the sea would be very high to phenomenal along the, and off the Andhra Pradesh coast and very rough along off the North Tamil Nadu coast.